Okay, so now, as we talked about, so, so far we've pretty much dealt with you know, smaller cubes, right? Squared and cubed and stuff like that. So now we're dealing with the fifth root, right? So what we want to say is, you know, what raised to the fifth power is going to provide us with these values? So we need to look at, say, you know, what numbers raised to the fifth power? Because remember we stated this, a to the m equals b, right? As m to the b, or the b root of b, or the m root of b equals a. So what we want to do is here we have our b, all right? We want to find out what is this exponent that we need to raise to get, what is this exponent that we, are, that we need to get to this root that's going to equal our a squared, or our a to the m power. So I need to say, what number can I raise to the fifth power that's going to provide me with 32? Ricardo, do you know that one yet? And we figured out it was going to be what? 2, right? So we could say the fifth root of 2 raised to the fifth power, and then about y to the tenth. Now, before I, you answer that question, I'll give you two rules. a to the m times a to the n equals a to the m plus n, and a to the m raised to the n equals a to the m times n. So how could I rewrite y to the tenth power so that it's raised to the Technically, I have something raised to the fifth power. Yes, Anna, do you have a question? Do you have it? Well, I have y to the 10th. How can I rewrite that raised to the fifth power by using any of these our uh, operations? Y Close. Close. How about this? Let me, let me show you the answer to tell me if you agree. If I wrote y squared raised to the fifth power, by applying this rule, I multiply my exponents. Is 2 times 5 going to give me 10? Yeah. Yes. Does everybody see how I did that? Yeah. Now, the reason why I did that is so important, because now I've taken each one of these values and I've raised them to the fifth power, which now I can undo them with my fifth root. So therefore, I'm left with. 2y squared. It's going to be my final answer. Because y squared to the fifth is y to the tenth. But I needed to write it in terms of raising it to the fifth power. Yeah, uh, I kind of split up into a multiplication problem, yes. I split up into a multiplication problem, raising it to the fifth root. And I had to have it raised to the fifth root so I could undo it with the fifth, or I had to raise it to the fifth power. So I could undo it with the fifth root. Okay. So that's one example. 